just got this in. So this is the Mobulus 7 version 2 from Happy Model. And well, this drone is old news now. So why are we taking a look at it one year later after its release? As we approach micro season in North America, the price of this has come down significantly. Now, I bought my Mobulus 7 version 2 standard edition here for around $70 shipped just a couple of months ago. It originally sold for $100 shipped. So in this review, we're going to figure out if it's worth the price drop, and I'll be talking flight, specifications, a possible quiet upgrade from the factory, batteries, cheap modifications, and more. Now, a full table of contents is in the video description down below. So what a drone costs or what technology it has in it at a certain point doesn't necessarily matter. I fly old stuff all the time, and I do it because it's what I have and because it's fun. I mean, sure, there's newer Whoop technology out there this year. There's no uh, but if ands, or buts about it. But is this Mobula 7 any less fun than it was one year ago when all of the hype beasts on YouTube were crazy about it? No, of course not. So whether I'm flying through gates with LEDs in my garage, through my house, my front yard, or local parks, I always have a great time with this. In a day and age where drones don't have the best reputation, the Mobulus 7's micro size is a plus even more now than when it was released. It looks non-threatening like most micro drones, and nobody says anything about it because it's small and quiet, and the ducted design and lightweight really enhances the safety of the surroundings. So now none of that has changed. All of that is the same. Um, I'm very happy with how this thing flies, uh, both with some tweak custom settings from Project Mockingbird as well as stock ones. The Mobulus 7 version 2 is a 75mm 1-cell and 2-cell brushless micro drone with 0802 16,000 kV motors. And there they are. Look at how small those little brushless motors are. Now, each of the motors is connected with sockets for easy and convenient replacement in case you break them. Now, the camera here is a 700 TV line camera, and you can adjust the angle here. There's a little screw there. You can tighten it, or you can leave it loose for dynamic adjustment with your fingers. Now, um, it's connected to a 25 milliwatt video transmitter, and then this is a little antenna that runs out for that. Now the power connector on it is old, but the still very widely used at this time period PH 2.0 connector. Tons of batteries out there that support this connector right now. There are two of these connectors so that you can run two one cell batteries side by side with each other or run a single one cell battery and use the jumper cable for 1S flight. In doing this, they give you the flexibility to choose whether you want to run this at maximum power on 2S or pull it back for indoor usage with one cell. Now when the V2 first came out, the main upgrade was the frame, and this is known as the version 2 black frame, and this is much more robust in crashes. The original version 1 or the white frame just easily broke. It, it was notoriously bad. Uh, recently, however, the version 2 package received sort of a quiet upgrade. Now, as you can see, it says F4 on the box, F4 flight controller. When I, when I saw that, I was like, wow, that's amazing because the listing says F3. So sure enough, it is. It's the F, it is the Crazy B F4 flight controller, and you can see that in here. This is a huge deal because the Mobula 7 has classically been an F3 board. And unfortunately, F3 boards have stopped official development by Betaflight, while the F4 ones have full software development support in the future. Now, like I said, there was never really any official announcement about this. That's why I'm kind of calling it a quiet upgrade. Um, I guess it's the, the F3 flight controller stock just simply started to run out and probably isn't being produced anymore. But again, some product descriptions are still saying F3 when you get an F4, so it might be hard to know for sure that this is what you're gonna get. I realized earlier I stated that technology doesn't matter, but hey, an upgrade is an upgrade, and to me, that F4 flight controller is value for your dollar worth mentioning. When you buy the Mobile 7 V2, they bundle it with these four Happy Model 250 milliamp hour one cell LIHV batteries, and eh, no, I'm not really a fan of them. 
With the way I fly, I tend to get about two minutes or even a little less with these batteries. Also, the wire on these kinds of batteries, I find, tends to get easily torn out. Yeah, this is usually what ends up happening to it. So, no, I'm not a fan of batteries with leads either. Now, I've tried a lot of other different batteries for this thing, and I've settled with two so far. First are the brand new 350 hour GNB Skinny LIHV one cell batteries and you get excellent flight time and performance with these at least with the way that I fly. I can do a solid three minute flight sometimes three minutes and 30 seconds and, and it feels good through the whole flight when I use these. Now uh, it's really hard to review batteries so take this with a grain of salt from me. It's not really scientific, but like I said, I like how the flight feels and the voltage doesn't tend to sag as much. Uh, that being said, full disclosure, these are going back because out of the four that I purchased, one of them puffed up during charge. Uh, not even a flight, so I guess I just got a bad sell, but I wanted to be completely honest about that. Now because this is the newer V2 frame, you can easily strap in a single 450 milliamp per hour one cell URUAV battery, which again, I like how my flight feels with this one cell battery. It's really cheap and I highly recommend it. Um, I don't really fly with the 350s because they don't actually fit in the frame singularly. As you can see, they sort of just they sort of just flop around just to get them to fit. You need to use this included little 3D printed TPU and then stack them in like that. But Happy Model does give you this little 3D printed part so that you can do that. Speaking of batteries, the charger that comes with it, eh, well, mine just flat out doesn't work right. It is obviously defective. The dip switch system here is just archaic. Um, it thinks the batteries are done charging when they are definitely not. And I caught it overcharging a battery or two, so I just I just quit using it. The whole thing is is just junk. You are far better off spending ten or twenty dollars on a one cell battery charger that will actually do its job correctly. The UPS six is my favorite. There are different branded versions of this. I'll have a link to that down in the description below. I've had this charger for over two years now. I've been very happy with it. It can charge like six different kinds of one cell batteries all at once. I've, I've got a review of that here as well if you're interested, but yeah. Since the Mobius 7 has been around for so long now, there are a ton of upgrades and mods that you can do. I'm just gonna show you a few of the cheap and easy ones I've picked up from around the internet. So the first one is our classic friend, the zip tie. Now the posts that hold the canopy down right there don't have the best strength and you can reinforce the canopy by putting a zip tie right through here and here on both sides to take the stress off of them during crashes um, and then hopefully your, your crank canopy will just crack and you won't end up busting the the posts. I've had good luck with the zip ties added on there so I'm I'm happy with this little mod and again it's cheap doesn't add a whole lot of weight and it's easy to do. Now with the version 2 frame, you may never break it depending on where and how often you fly. I personally haven't. But if you want something stronger and you're at a point where you've glued the crap out of this frame, um, you can take a look at the V3 frame, which they do not sell a pre-made package with. You're only going to find it in, in V2. Uh, I've got this one here for me to swap into it and try that I bought, but you know, I honestly think that this upgrade is not necessary for everyone. Like I said, I haven't broken my frame, and even if I do, at this point, I'm I'm just not sure that I will upgrade upgrade to the V3 frame. The V2 has given me a decent lifetime, and the stronger and heavier V3 frame will change how it flies. So you're just going to need to judge whether this is an upgrade or a downgrade for you. Well, the third upgrade is to replace this connector, the PH 2.0 connector. Now these connectors are not the best at pushing current. So if you want more power, your best options are a red JST connector, um, an XT30 connector, or 
some of the brand new BT 2.0 connectors from Beta FPV for Whoops that just came out this month could possibly be a good contender for this. I think if you only ever want to fly this drone on two cell batteries and you're someone who just wants to push max performance, then swap out the double PH 2.0 connectors entirely for a single one. Just just be careful. There will be nothing stopping you from pulling a hell of a lot of current through a better connector. Just something to keep in mind. Mobula 7 may be a year old, but there are no surprises with it. It has a well-known track record of what to expect, how to fix everything that goes wrong with it. Um, with tons of these out there, there's also a plentiful supply of parts from both North American and Chinese vendors. And not only that, groups like Project Mockingbird have spent hours of hard work on it to give a custom tune for you guys in order to make it fly its best. The RC Group's forum thread about this drone, where people from all over the world collectively share ideas, is 265 pages long with almost 4,000 posts at this time. You don't have to read all of that, but that searchable information for tips is gold if you need any help. And there's plenty of pilots there to reach out to, including myself. If you have any questions about it, you know, feel free to drop me a comment here on YouTube and I'll be happy to try to help you the best that I can. This is a great little flyer, it's a great little drone, and I hope you can get a good deal on it just like I did. So that is it for the review of the Mobile 7 version 2. I hope you enjoyed it and found this review informative. Uh, as always, have a great day guys, and I'm gonna go do some flying.